Hey students, so today I'm going to show you how to get started on the nose and how to lay down your values first. They will look pretty blocky and then do some blending. Now you will see me following the curve of the nose and if you really look at the direction that I'm drawing you can see how that makes sense. Now I'm putting down my very brightest areas first things that are pretty obvious to me and I'm using again a curved motion over the bridge and then you can see I'm following the curve and the slope downwards into the cheekbone so you need to draw in this direction you also need to blend and move your finger in the same direction the, th the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you map out your darkest areas as well so that you can really note where those are and then I use the pastel sideways in a really light pressure to just put a little bit of black down for my shadows on my cheeks there's a little darker one underneath my nostril but notice how i did not fill in a circle or an oval shape now on the left side you can see that the shadow is darker outside of my nose so i'm actually adding black to my cheek area in the shape of that triangle that you can see i did not yet Put any black inside my nose. Again, note how I'm not filling in a circular shape for the nostrils, but just a little bit of shadow on the top. And then I'm using the shadow around the nose to help me shape it. Now I'm putting just a little bit of white in there because I can see a highlight and then some around kind of like the front part of my nose using the black sideways <clears throat> excuse me using the black sideways into the cheekbone you can see that i'm not using as much pressure it looks a little bit lighter it's not quite as heavy and i haven't even blended anything yet so i'm just trying to find some really bright and dark values first I add a little shadow under the nose and then this is an area where I can also use my finger later to blend. So right now I'm blending in some of the black shadow and what you'll see me do is use some of the shadow from my finger to help me blend and add dark to other areas without kind of overdoing it. So it's a nice way by just using some of that color on my finger to apply it to other areas in a lighter manner and then you can just kind of blend a little bit of the black into the white and use it to shape around now even when i blend with my finger you can see how i'm using curved motions and following the shape of my nose now once i have a blended layer of pastel i can start to add more layers and I can really start to refine the values that I see instead of them being so blocky <clears throat> once you have multiple layers of pastel you'll notice that they kind of help to blend each other and it's a, a, again a little bit of a back and forth between the two black and white colors and then the grays that fall in between You can use your blender on small areas, but this is an area of your face where with really gentle pressure and some patience, you can actually get really smooth blending. You don't need your blender as much as you would think, but you have to be really careful of pushing too hard because you're going to melt the pastel as we talked about in class last week. Now you, again, it's okay to use the blender, but just kind of use it sparingly. I use it to kind of shape that reflective area on my nose. And again, it's much better for small areas where my finger just doesn't fit as easily. So continue to blend, add more layers. And what you're looking for is your acceptable stopping point. Now on the nose, there's really no stopping point you're going to go into the bridge into the brow bone 
down into the cheekbones, downward into the mouth, but this is at least how you're going to get yourself started. 